Hi, it's good morning, good day. This is the African Crypto Warlord. I'm doing this damn analysis for like the fifth time now as my microphone is not picking up. Anyway, hope you guys are doing well. The last time we looked at XRP was at July 19th. Okay, and if you look at the thumbnail, that is where a lot of XRP bag holders got trapped. All right, so the natural instinct would be if you were trapped here on this dump mode, maybe you want to get out. Hence why we have this bearish action coming in. There's a lot of mean reversion happening here on the 21 day. 21 day is 50-50. We don't have a trend as of yet. So we'll drop it down onto the 14 day. The 14 day is also 50-50. Why? Because positive correlation, negative correlation under contraction equals sideways. Any pivots from the five day, the thumbnail that you saw, which is the pink line, that is the pivot, that is a macro pivot. If you hold above there, you're looking for upside. If you close below there, you're looking for the downside. Over here, we have the seven day, which is stuck in negative drift. So any buy orders on the lower term time frames will be sold, sold into. They won't be allowed to continue. Now, this is the five day. The five day macro pivot is up here. Any closes below here, we are looking for its other side of the macro pivot down here at 25 cents. <coughs> My voice is just about to go. All right. But I'll just quickly explain this. Pink lines, very important. Macro pivots, you hold above them, you get to go into the blue lines either side of the mean over here. So it printed, zero volatility, we throw our cone on, boom, it came in. Because I know it went down first, I know that it's going to more than likely stretch to, the, to a higher side upside. All right, came through, break the macro pivot, holds above macro pivot, macro pivot, macro pivot, fails macro pivot, hits macro pivot, then just starts mean reverting around, looking for some friends, pretty much. Hits the macro pivot again, and this is where the run starts, okay? It's pushing from here, breaks through mean reversion, again gets hammered by the macro pivot, into a front run, again hammered by the macro pivot, into another big front run over here, back up, previous analysis was in this region, pretty much got smoked at the 2SD, of the macro pivot to the upside and didn't even have a break to double check if that macro pivot was there boom into front run mode again not failing rather interesting quite strong for a shit coin and then pushing out for the for for the upside what we what we will state is any failures here we do naturally look for mean reversion at 38 cents or furthermore 25 cents okay as you can see it did it here a few times so the range just gets bigger as the cone gets longer okay what we can currently see here is that any sell orders same as the seven day any sell, any buy orders coming in will be sold into so it's not going to be that big of a current move but on the seven day we have 15 hours to a new candle and on the 14 day we have seven days to the new candle so it's going to be big trends coming off of these regions Contraction was positive correlated, means negative drift. So as we start to shuffle down, we will see that it's going to be quite hard here on the three day to set this drive of hidden bull div in the book. But if this DLP turns around, it'll be a clean pump out of here. Contraction was positively correlated. Whilst the chaos and disorder, the trend is not here. Okay, there's no trend here, but we do know with the seven day and the 14 day new print, we can get a trend rather easily. And if that trend is going to back the three day, well, then it's going to be a quick move to the upside in this circumstance. Any, 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 any closes above uh, 61 cents 32, you will be looking for a mean reversion target here in the reverse wave trends to 63, 66. Furthermore, 65, just call it 66. All right, back up into 66. Contraction was positively correlated. Again, any buy orders will be sold into. 12 hour over here this is what i would be managing my higher term 14 day and seven day and five day off of if we can break above 61.80 we do have the opportunity to push to the upside dlp is getting a little bit sold well not sold into price action is selling off so that would mean any closes below 61.80 we will be pushing down for 57.70 all right then we have the six hour six hour is trying to push to the upside but it might take another 12 to 18 hours in order to verify that and that falls in line with the seven day print and the 14 day print so big pivot big moves happening i'll say 
the run or more than likely either to the upside or to the downside would extinguish just before December. All right, so that's quite soon. That's in like 10 days. So you, if you can hold above this pink line here, over here, you can look for 75 cents. If you fail this pink line with this RO trying to actually push down, so if the low term time frames aren't expanding in volatility, it's gonna be hard to hold this pivot, we'll be looking at 48 cents, all right? So now that was a 12 hour, that's a six hour. That is the three hours. So this is more intraday for the weekend, if you're here. Any, yeah, it's looking like it's sort of losing its drive over here. I wanna put on some reverse wave tendies. So reverse wave tendies are saying any closes below here will verify that this volatility expansion will be denied. All right, any closes above 6108, it does have an opportunity to mean revert to the upside. If we were to put on ultimate power mean, you'll have a target here at 6197. Okay, so breakout range for the breakout traders is up here. If it does fail this region over here, we can expect maybe another little pullback of liquidity here, maybe a wick into 66, into 60 cents and then try push back to the upside. Any failures here is well below the pink line and we know that we're gonna get a big drive to the downside. So this is the 90 minute, let me just change it up. This is the 90 minute, it is trying to push for the upside with some positive drift, okay? RO is starting to curl over, but because there's positive drift, that RO is not true as of yet, all right? So as soon as uh, this thing hits zero, we're gonna look for a new trend sometime in the day and yeah if it expands if volatility expands whilst pcs are still in the negative phase it's a dump mode um if you can hold above here on the 90 minute we'll just say this one it will more than likely be able to push in hidden bull divs on the 15 5 and the one minute in order to carry it back up into these regions this is a zone of liquidity that has not been tested yet so they will more than likely be trying to trigger negative drift at these levels if it does get up here all right and then we'll go into the 45 minute. Hello bird. We'll go into the 45 minute. Turn that off. That's currently ready for a short. Should be in your short already. Expansion to the downside, 50-50, uh, no trend as of yet. Okay, so we can see all these, what's that? Sort of contracting. No trend as of yet. If it does fail these orange lines, you can see there's a bunch of data down here. Let me circle this all of this data that's crossing up okay it's gonna be a nice big juicy pocket of liquidity if there is a serious xrp bull you'll find him over here and if it slips here he will be trying to hit it again at 6046 all right if you found this information helpful and that macro pivot being the mac daddy please do like and subscribe i'll end it off with this failure here back down to 25 cents hold above here naturally want to go to the blue at one dollar forty a little bit out of the way at the moment but if it does hold above here it's going to two dollars eighty cents all right if it fails here it's coming down to 25 cents and as we have those blue lines to the top side what happens to the downside and i don't really know but you always got to be prepared that's 10 cents and that's five cents all right this is usdt this isn't the real usd so we don't know what's going to happen with usdt in due time all right that could be your intraday scalperoo coming in right now. I doubt this video will be in time before it gets here. But if it is, hopefully you can catch a little bit of uh, XRP dumperoo. Any closes above uh, 6108, you'll be looking for continuation to the upside. There will be another test of liquidity here. If it fails that, that will be your hidden bear div for the third drive coming through the book. If you found this information helpful, please do like and subscribe. This is the African Crypto Warlord. Out.